Welcome to the opening video, the tutorial of Lambda Prolog in Higher Order Logic Programming. Just a couple of words as an introduction before we start. I will be coding throughout the videos and I strongly suggest you follow me. Don't worry, we hardly write more than 20 lines of code. Uh, each video will be 10 to 15 minutes long and will introduce one or two aspects of the language. We have seven of such videos scheduled so far, probably more, um, and I am making them short uh, so that you can um, uh, fit them uh, with some flexibility to your schedule. Regarding the needed background, I really do think all that will be seen is accessible to anyone with an ability to think with recursion and uh, basic notions in logic. And when I say basic, I mean if you know things like uh, if A is true and A implies B, then B is also true, you're already able to understand most of what we'll do. Although, if you are familiar with Prolog, you'll have a head start. For those who are not familiar with declarative programming at all, I will be making a small video to introduce the basic notions. A good first place to visit is the Lambda Prolog website. I'm going to bring your attention to some parts of this page, but um, I encourage you to read all of it. So first, for those who have a background in logic and type theory, you can go directly to the frequently asked questions here. Uh, you will read about um, some of the most of the uh, language features. Uh, but if you don't have enough background to understand this, don't worry, it's not mandatory to know all this to uh, be able to learn Lambda Prolog. And we will discover um, most of these features uh, in the videos anyway. So let's go back to home. On this web page, you also have some examples of code. Uh, and if you like what you see in the video, uh, tutor in the video tutorial and want to dig deeper, uh, there are several documents like these written tutorials um, that you can read. But if you really want to explore the machinery behind the language and be convinced uh, of why you really are programming in logic and, and get an idea of how to do things and explore the language to its fullest on the theoretical level as well as on the practical level, this book uh, is the thing to read. It's fairly easy and pedagogical. It's a little under 300 pages long, uh, although they do target readers with some background in logic and higher order programming. So if you're in your first year of university, maybe you should wait a bit before you read this. Okay, on this web page you also have a link to the Tejas website. Tejas is the implementation uh, of the Lambda product that we'll be using, so I suggest you go to this website. So same thing, I suggest you read all of it, all the sections, but right now I'm just gonna ask you to go to the download um, section. Uh, you have some instructions to download Tejas and install it on your machine. If you want to get the latest version and if you're able to, you can SVN check out this. Uh, but you, you can also read all the wiki and, um, and get a, or maybe wait a little bit before you start reading the wiki um, until the first or the second video maybe. Okay, uh, so next thing, you also need a text editor. Uh, so I'm, I'll be using Emacs with the Tejas mode that you can get here, down the page. Uh, but if, uh, if you have a, a preferred text editor, any text editor will do, so you can keep yours. Alright, so to summarize, once you've installed Tejas and chosen a text editor, you're good to go. This was the opening um, video to the tutorial of Lambda Prolog and Higher Order Logic Programming. Thanks for watching.